lots of YouTube people, it is Maxine here. It is currently 4.50 in the morning. I am waiting for my store manager to get here so we can go inside and just get everything ready and done. I'm not looking forward to today, but I know I can do this. So, wish me luck. What's up, you guys? Um, it's a little after 3. I've been home for a little bit. Um, Tyler ordered pizza. Um, so I picked it up, we ate it, I'm gonna lay on the couch for a bit, maybe take a little nap, and then I need to take a shower and, like, wash my hair, else I have a vlog to edit. Oh, <sighs> but, <sighs> it was a rough day at work today, mm. and we did what we could. <laughs> So, I have no idea what tomorrow is going to look like for me, but I'm hoping we can just get caught up on some stuff because we went from being, like, finishing everything to now we are behind. So, yeah, we'll see. See what tomorrow brings, but I might take a nap. Alright, guys. So, um, we did a little bit of cleaning in the kitchen and living room area. I showered wash my hair. Um, I'm actually getting ready to go to bed. <sighs> I didn't edit yesterday's vlog. Um, I meant to, but now it's a little too late and I'm just gonna have to wait till tomorrow. Um, I kind of had like some anxiety today, um, just with work and everything and yeah, but we've got some appointments made like um, Tyler made me a dentist appointment in January, which I'm scared. I'm really scared of the dentist. I don't know if y'all have, like, any fears yourself, but there are two major, major things that I'm terrified of. Uh, the dentist is one of them, and, uh, needles is the other. And usually the dentist involves needles as well. But I need my wisdom teeth out, um, and, yeah... But I have had to, like, overcome a lot of my fears over the last couple of years. Um, or I don't even know if, like, some of the stuff is not even overcome. It's just kind of, like, go through it, you know? Um, so, like, I've, I'm absolutely terrified of needles, like I said. And I've gotten my blood drawn twice in the last couple of months. Um, and that was... <laughs> very, very nerve-wracking experience both times. Um, like, I was able to do it and everything, but just, like, that fear that wells up inside you and, like, the anxiety that comes with it. Um, and that's, like, one of my biggest fears. Like, um, I'm not even kidding. And it, it sounds so stupid to, like, some people and everything, and I wish I didn't have these fears, but it was I basically to the point in my life where it was like, you know what, um... If, <laughs> like, if it involves a needle of some sort, just let me die. And that sounds really uh, dramatic and really stupid, but that's how, like, scared I am of needles. So, um, I've got my blood drawn twice, um, and, you know, I, I, I did really good for me. Okay, <laughs> I did really good for me. Um, but the dentist is the other big one, um, I've had to go to the dentist before, um, in my adult years for a root canal and like they were kind, they took good care of me. I still cried <laughs> and I was still really scared and really anxious, you know, and, um, I'm gonna be honest with you, the main reason I haven't gone to get my wisdom teeth out isn't even like the aftercare or the dentist itself. Um, it's the fear of having to have an IV stuck in my arm. Like, I'm like, you can't just, like, give me something, like, <laughs> a pill or something to put me to sleep. Like, I, I'm so scared of needles. But, um, the last time I went to the dentist, um, I, so I'd gotten a cleaning done and they did an x-ray and they were like, yeah, you have some cavities as well. So I was like, okay, I need some cavities taken care of. Well, that dentist was no longer going to be there, and he recommended me to go to another dentist's office. This guy was moving. So I went to that next dentist, 
and um, I have really bad like sensory issues um, and <laughs> I went to this new dentist and they have an open floor plan concept which I was not aware of nor did I know that I needed to be aware of but instead of going into a room and sitting down and the dentist comes in they had like I think it was like four dentist chairs in a room like it was some kind of set up like a salon and I am already terrified I feel stupid for being terrified and I'm embarrassed because there's other people around me and I'm trying to be really quiet and like I started panicking because I guess there was I guess there's another room somewhere but there was an elderly man and he was um he was yelling somebody help me somebody help me um, so I had a panic attack and I started crying while sitting in the dentist chair because I'm like, if that man needs help, I need to get out of here. If he is yelling for help, I'm in the wrong place. And it just ended up being an elderly man who just didn't want to be at the dentist and like nothing had happened to him. They, they said that they see him every six months for a cleaning and he's kind of like that. But, um, yeah, it created a whole panic attack in me and, um, I am now crying, silently crying in the chair with my husband next to me. And I'm so embarrassed and I'm hoping that nobody else in the room can see that I'm crying. So by the time the dentist gets to me, she is like, she's like, honey, why are you crying? Like, are you okay? I'm like, I, I'm just a little, a little anxious. Like I'm having anxiety. And she's like, well, honey, um, because you haven't been to this dentist before, we're actually going to like, um, do a, uh, what's it called? We're gonna like, uh, is it an x-ray? Why can't I think of the word? But basically they were gonna like get pictures of my teeth and everything um, and then schedule another appointment in the future for my dental work to be done. And what I didn't know is that this lady actually specializes in dealing with people like me. So she's like, honey, you should never have to feel the way that you feel like at the dentist. And she's like, she's like, I am so sorry that you are so scared and you know, I don't want you to feel that way. And honestly, it's not its not good for me to work on you because your heart is racing and, you know, I can tell that you're, you're panicking. She's like, honey, like, she said, the next time you come see me, I'm going to give you medication. I'm, I'm going to give you medication to take the night before so you can sleep and medication to take first thing in the morning before your appointment because you don't deserve to feel like that. And that is the only time in my life that I have had a dentist, like feel that way and say stuff like that to me because I just thought like oh you just have to suck it up and be terrified and feel that way I didn't know that there were other options for me but anyways we ended up moving so um I didn't get to go to my follow-up appointment so I'm back at square one with having to go to a new dentist to get my teeth x-rayed is that the right words I don't know that sounds weird all of a sudden but get my teeth checked and then go from there to see about getting my wisdom teeth removed. Um, yeah. So when I had gone to the doctor, um, for my health issues, um, she had told me, so I was explaining, you know, kind of what had happened and how I just have a really bad fear of needles. Cause she's telling me I'm gonna have to get my blood drawn. And I like, you could see that my eyes were tearing up and I was like, I am, uh, really terrified of, uh, needles and she's like okay I got you she said um she's like I'm really good at um at blood draws she's like I'm able to get it from children like small children and everything she's like I got you and we're gonna medicate you and I said uh oh, okay I'll try it and so this woman told me she said you know if you she goes when you go to go to the dentist she's like you just let me know and I will I'll make sure that you have <laughs> medication to take um, so you're not like this. So yeah, I am hoping and praying that I can handle this appointment because like I said, I am terrified, absolutely terrified of the dentist and needles. And since I'm working on that fear of needles, I'm hoping that I can handle the dentist. We'll see. But um, yeah, so I have a dentist appointment coming up. I have... Um, a doctor's specialist appointment to figure out what the heck's going on with me coming up and I made an appointment to get my tires rotated and if my tires 
if I'm due for new tires, get new tires tomorrow. I'm doing that tomorrow. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need all new tires because the last time I got my tires rotated, they were like, ooh, yeah, um, got a, a good, like, five to ten thousand miles left on these tires. And, uh, it's been five thousand miles. So, plus I keep having to get air in the one tire, so I'm pretty sure I need new tires. So, I'm gonna get that taken care of tomorrow. My bank account is crying thinking about it, but it'll be okay. But I didn't end up editing the vlog to go up today, so I'll do that tomorrow. Um, so just bear with me. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make my lunch and finish getting ready for bed. So that's all for this video. So uh, stay fresh and bye.